All right. What's up, guys and gals? Robert the Bruce here, of course, with round three of the Yesh Gaming Cup. We had an awesome round two last week. Some new players joined in, shot up the rankings. Um, Squirrel uh, 2010 or 2014 or something like that was his name. He, he was his first week joining, and he... Uh, had three first place finishes, so he he netted 15 points. Flew up the rankings there, as you can see. MW3 fan has been there uh, consistently playing each week, so he's high up on the list. Scum Dog's also been consistent; he's up there. But uh, still, anybody's season there is clearly no clear cut winner at this point, uh, just because of the simple fact that uh, some first place finishes get you a lot of points. And so you can really climb the ranks fast. You could you could miss probably the first, you know, four, five, six weeks of this thing. I'm planning on running it to, you know, 10 or 12 weeks of this season. So there's going to be a lot of rounds still to come. And uh, you could join in pretty late. And if you had some really strong rounds, uh, still end up at the top and, and get prizes and, uh, and uh, the whole deal. So that's very, very cool. Love seeing more and more people joining in. There uh, we're... Uh, in an obliteration server right now, waiting for this game to finish up. Looks like it is close to being done. Let me go ahead and switch back to our live view. Now that you've seen the current ranking score sheet there. We've got some Yesh on the way, I know for sure. Let's go find the bomb. Where's the bomb at? Over here? A lot of baddies over here. I assume the bomb's over here. Maybe they just blew it up. Haven't been paying attention. Because this is obviously not a game that will actually count in the final rankings. Uh, merely just uh, going ahead and getting in the server so everybody knows where to go. Server is already posted in the chat. If you're watching it live, um, pop down there and take a look. And uh, if you're on PS4, come join in. There's the bomb. Yep, so it looks like the uh, Chinese team is uh, busting up the Russians here pretty solidly. Which is good, because we can go ahead and get this game over with and get on to the actual first game of the round three very very cool now the server filled up so there may not be any yesh in here yet we may be uh waiting for some of these guys to rage out yeah it looks like we've got nothing but randoms at this point the uh <laughs> the good news being that randoms love to quit out <laughs> after a game especially after they get stomped so i'm not too worried about that oh look at this somebody in the russians pretending like they're gonna score Good effort, good effort. Let's go take a look here. Oh my goodness, they are back. Are you going to make it? No, you are not. Almost. Spamming that DMR, but the Chinese take control again. Now, we've uh, I've already got a few prizes lined up, which is very, very cool. I, I'm going to actually make a, a presentation video I'll post to the channel. And... Um, and actually, you know, give a breakdown of all the prizes, but uh, going to be very, very cool. Had a headset donated, uh, which is awesome. Um, I'll put that in the video as well, but Scumdog5150, long-time Yesh member and friend of mine, um, donated a, uh, a gaming headset to the prize pool, which is just fantastic. That's very, very cool. Also going to be uh, doing some customized, personalized dog tags. Yesh Gaming dog tags will send out with your gamer tag and, uh, and that kind of stuff. So that's going to be really neat. And uh, looking into actually getting some uh, some other stuff. Maybe some Yesh Gaming posters made. Maybe a t-shirt or two. Uh, not completely sure what every single prize will be, but we're going to have some fun stuff in there. That's, that's for sure. Um, and this is assuming I can't get it sponsored. Uh, that's always still an effort. If we can get this thing sponsored before it's out, we'll end up with some crazy cool stuff. So who knows? But uh, Eagle of War in the chat asking, do you have to have the Yesh tag? Um, up to this point, I have said yes, that you have to have the Yesh tag. Um, it is super easy to change in battle log. Um, and that's just to weed out so I know who to score. Because um, I'm normally not a crazy stickler for Yesh tags. Like People can even be in the Yesh gaming platoons and run with us. And if, you know... Obviously, it's nice to know who's all running together, but if somebody doesn't have it on, I don't freak out or, you're out of here. Yeah, it's not a big deal to me. Um, but for the purposes of this competition, I think it's the only way to keep things fair, so I'm going to stick with that ruling that I made that you do have to have the yes tag on, simply because I don't want to get to the end and then somebody's like, oh, I've been here every week and uh, I want my points counted too, but I wasn't wearing the yes tag, and I have to go back and watch 
you know, 12 videos, <laughs> an hour a pop, trying to find, uh, you know, how many points they scored and all that nonsense. So it just makes it easy. If you got the yesh tag on after each round, I can quickly look and see who has the yesh tag in the top five and mark them down for that. Um, if you played last week and didn't have it on, but you put the yesh tag on from here on out, uh, that's probably okay. I, I, I'm willing to go back one or two weeks because it's still early in the competition. And I'll go check and, and tally up your points for that. But going forward, got to have the yesh tag to make it count. It's just the most fair and easy way for me to keep track of everything. So, well, I like that the Russians are actually putting up a little fight here. They're not uh, they're not giving up, even though they're really getting creamed pretty bad by the Chinese. Um, I have no clue where this Chinese player is going. He's got to go arm Alpha to win the game. Uh, he may be confused. Uh, it looks like his friends are like, bro. You got the bomb! Captain something something is his name. I wish it would pop up their names a lot easier, but you have to be like perfectly centered on them and usually zoomed in pretty close, but... Oh! Not gonna happen there, Russian. Sorry. Oh my gosh, there goes the chopper. <laughs> Where are these guys going? Are they like looking at the objective marker back there and thinking that's the bomb site or something? I don't know, that's pretty funny. You got a lot of soldiers though. At this point, I'm kind of like... Just push up. Oh, Scumdog's got it. So you know he's pushing up. He's not afraid. <laughs> there he is, the man himself. Super generous, donating a, a, an awesome gaming headset. I'll have more details on that uh, in, a, in an upcoming video. But yeah, super awesome that he did it. And I love that he comes in and is like, all right, pansies, I'm going to take the bomb and I'm going to go arm it. Because everyone else is dancing around out there in the woods hiding. He's just like, no, let's just go ahead and end this thing. Let's just go ahead and get it done. Now, if you are in the live stream watching... Let's see if there's any other Yesh guys that have snuck in here. Looks like so far just him. Um, man, if you're on PS4, now is the time to get in and get some points. Alex, what's up, man? Thanks for joining the chat. Glad to have you, bro. Now is the time because there are not very many Yesh guys in here, which means A, you're going to have almost guaranteed less people playing the objective, <laughs> and B, there's way less people to compete with. So you are going to be able to get some mega, mega points. It, it, I, I set this uh, quite a few days ago, the time the live stream was going to be. I love these final screens. I, I say it every week, but the final spectator screens are just amazing. Like, this is hilarious. Where am I right now? Who knows? Um, yeah, right now it's just scum. So he is about to start getting some sick points on the next few games because he's a solid player. I, I know he'll be in the top. And uh, he's going to be getting some easy mode rank ups. Uh-oh, Fear Maker over there. Now the question is... Do they join forces to ensure that their team wins and help each other? Or do they stay on opposite teams and uh, that way they're not competing against each other for points? Because the top five on both sides that have the yesh tag get points. So if they're competing against each other, they could uh, potentially have an easier time scoring at the top. Squirrel last week. Uh, oh, I do need to change the top thing. Eagle of War. Great point. I totally missed that. Season 1, Round 2 is what it says. That is false. <laughs> one moment, sir. Season 1, Round 3. There we go. What a horrible mistake. Thank you for pointing that out, my good man. That would have gone the entire time, and I would have missed it. Hilarious. But yeah, last week Squirrel joined, and he joined late, so he was only... Um, he was against all the Yesh, and his team kept getting stopped, but because he was one of the only guys playing the objective, it was like easy for him to score number one every single game, and so he got three first place finishes, five points for each one. Uh, you get four points for second place, three points for third, et cetera, all the way down. Um, so he got 15 points, and in, in that one week is skyrocketed up to be you know, tied for first. Now, I am not advocating in any way for people to join... And, uh, <laughs> yeah, scum in the chat, hilarious. I'm not advocating for anybody to join this and purposefully, like, play against DS just to try to pad your stats. Uh, ultimately, the whole point of this thing is just to have fun, um, have a weekly event where there's a, a bunch of guys gathering that maybe don't get to play with all the other Yesh as much because they're not on friends lists or whatever, and uh, can just enjoy some good gaming. That is the reason we're here. Uh, the prizes and stuff, that's cool, but, you know, I, I personally advocate people playing together and, uh, you know, being on the same side and just stomping through the other team. But, again, it's up to you. It's up to your call. If you want to go against Yesh, that is fine. may make a bad name for yourself in the community. There's been a few guys that have done that, but no big deal. No big deal there at all. 
Invisible Don in the chat. Hey, Robert. Seems like a really cool idea. Are you going to run something similar on PS3? I've had this question a lot, Don. And um, the sad but but uh, makes sense to me answer is no. Uh, I've ex uh, explained it a couple times to a few people. But I'll go ahead and say it again here. Basically, there's a couple of things. Without the live stream, this would be, uh, I think, kind of a sad event. If it was just uh, literally... Um, you know, hey, on these random days, I'll, you know, check battle log and take down the top scores. Like, nobody would be able to watch the games. I would just be tallying up scores. There wouldn't really be any hype around it. Um, there'd be lots of confusion on, like, which game was the one you were starting on. Like, because there's no spectator mode, it just doesn't really seem possible. On top of that, I sold my PS3. I got rid of it when I got the PS4. So, I, you know, I wouldn't even be able to be there and, like join the game and just sit off to the side or something weird like that. So there's really no way for me to get in there and get any footage and you know, hype it up. Um, so I'm sorry that other, other consoles and platforms don't get the opportunity for it, but it's really the only way to make it work. And I've gotten some flack from some PS3 guys, and, and uh, not from you, but from some others. And honestly, I'm kind of surprised by that because I have always been a PlayStation guy. And I've, I've never really gotten crap from Xbox or PC guys who wanted to take part in previous Yash Gaming events. So, um, kind of seems silly that, that uh, I'm, I'm getting some negativity from PS3 guys uh, over me not being, literally just not being able to do it. It's not because I'm choosing not to. It just doesn't make sense um, to do the competition where I can't get footage. I'm not even in there playing, you know, myself. It just doesn't really work. So... That's the long answer. The short answer is no. It's just on PS4 right now. Maybe in the future, Yes Gaming grows and I get some more consoles. I could expand other platforms, but as of right now, only able to do it here. So uh, I am sorry you don't get to join, though, man. We had some good times running together back when I was on PS3 with you. Had a lot of fun. Now let us check and see. Now that we got our, it actually says round three at the top. That was embarrassing. Let's see who's on US and who's on China. We got Scum and Carito. Love it. Always a PTFO. -er. One of my favorite PTFOers, Carito. She is always going for the, the objective, and just, I love it. Uh, Blue231 hopped in. There you go. Nice, sir. And over here, we got Fear Maker. Eagle of War is in. Love it. He's in the chat as well. Okay, so we got a few yes. Now, there's spots still freeing up. Random guys rage quitting back and forth. So if you're wanting to get into the game... Still uh, plenty of opportunities to do so. And this is the first game. So uh, the last game was the starter one. I never count the game that I join on. This is the first game in going. So hop in, get some points, have some good competition. Always good stuff. Now let's see what's going on here. It's never much of a surprise that uh, it's Scumdog or Carito or some Yesh player. I love it. Carito's right there guarding him. Just, I, I love this stuff. So many random... Blue triangles off out doing who knows what, but the Yesh people are in the heart of the action, making it happen. Now the question is, is there an attack boat around here? No, they look to be safe to hop in this boat and go, so they're off. Off and going, Carrito and Scum got the bomb. Let us see. Thanks, Don. I appreciate uh, your support, even though it's not able to be on your console. That is awesome, and it, it may seem trivial, but I honestly do really appreciate it. Uh, when guys are uh, cool and supportive, even when I can't necessarily do a you know a competition or game with them on their own platform, so uh, very very cool of you, sir. Now they are rolling in fast, and it looks like they might be able to hit Bravo uncontested. Now we got one off there in the distance. Scum's got the bomb. Carito took off and went to the other island. There may have been a little miscommunication going on there, but. That guy got killed out there by, it looks like, the attack boat, potentially. So we got the arm. As we all know, the obliteration timers are super short, so the first points are going to go very, very quickly to the U.S. side. Love that. Simply the two-man effort, well, one man, one woman, pardon me, uh, effort there. And it's all it takes when you got people PTFOing and uh, enemies off doing who knows what. That is very, very cool. So quick lead for the U.S., uh, also, uh, something else interesting that I uh, hadn't talked about yet but uh, implemented last week kind of silently was the ability to hop in the commander seat. Anyone is welcome to play in the commander mode. So if you got a PS4, and uh, looks like they finally went down. Let's go ahead and reset over by the bomb. 
you know, maybe you're uh, not at home, but you're free and you've got a tablet and you can hop in. Or maybe the game's free and literally you want to get in and play, but there's nobody leaving. Hop in the commander mode. Uh, you get a bonus 1,000 points added to your score no matter what because it can be more difficult to score good points in the commander seat. So uh, Karita last week hopped in the commander seat, rocked it out. Um, her base points would have gotten her fourth place, but because it was the commander mode, she gets a bonus thousand added to it. That actually pushed her up into getting third place points. Now that doesn't displace the actual top five. So I'll give you an example. If you look at the scoreboard right now, you know there's one through five on each side. If the commander's points puts them up there in that range, it doesn't kick one of them out of their seat. It's just kind of like she, you know whoever's in the commander seat gets also gets those points so there could you know be two second placers that round that sort of thing hopefully that makes sense but yeah Carino got the points last week she wasn't able to hop in and join but she had her tablet and she hopped in the game so if that's all you can do or the server's full hop in that commander seat get in there and help your team out <laughs> if there's anything that's all about playing the objective it's a commander that's that's what they do so uh and and, and if you do the commander seat well you can really score some insane points i've gone on some runs where i was getting uh mvp just game after game in the commander seat uh, so it, it can be done. Um, yeah, I think Commander is actually a lot of fun. It's, it's a really cool way to mix it up. Now, we got a lot of Chinese guys here. This is going to be a tough one. Looks like three U.S. battling it out. Some hidden guys there. Oh, are we going to see some tags? It's getting close. Carito's getting the arm, and she got it. She goes down, but she got it. Now, we still got one more here. Blue. Blue doing some work. They're fighting. Oh, oh. Yes, yes, the slaughter. They were in the bushes. Blue, that was fantastic. And that was just what was needed to hold it off and give the U.S. their second bomb plant. Absolutely awesome there. Really, really great teamwork. Now, the Chinese mounted some forces. They were not going to let them have that one easily. But U.S. really had a just a blitzkrieg assault there, just blasted their way in and made it happen. Very, very cool. Let's go ahead and wait for the next bomb to show up. While we're waiting, we'll see if there's any... Oh, it looks like we got another uh, Yesh guy in here. Whiskey has hopped in and joined. <laughs> of course, you see Chinese raging already. Gotta love that. But uh, so got a couple spots free. If you're in the chat, you're joining late. Come hop in the game, hop in the server. Server is in the chat, but I'll throw it up here as well. It is 141535. So plenty of room for more people. There comes the storm. You gotta love it. I don't care what people say. They can say it gets old or it's a gimmicky or whatever. I love most of the Levolution. Uh, and this map, uh, this is absolutely one of my favorites. The huge storm rolls in. It makes it all choppy for the boats driving around. It makes vis you know, visibility a little bit tougher. Uh, it's just cool. I love the, the interactive environment. Lots of fun. Now, we got a U.S. player already here. Oh, I'm shocked. It's Scumdog. Not really. He is uncontested. Looks like he'll be grabbing a boat. Now the question is, can he get... That's a long way to Charlie. And Charlie is hands down the most difficult objective to get most of the time when you're playing this game. Now you can see there, there's a few Chinese out around the tower not being even remotely helpful. <laughs> now maybe they were trying to get the bomb and they just had bad timing. So yeah, it actually looks like they're going for the bomb now. So they, they may have just had bad timing. But oh, there come the waves. That's going to slow him down in his, in his go. But the, the real question is to stop him, there's got to be some Chinese boats or choppers that get over to that objective. And right now there's too many out just doing their battling. Now it looks like we got one parachuting. Oh, he's rocketing. <laughs> that is not going to be an easy boat drive. That is that. Oh, wow. What an incredible straw. That's not a yesh guy. But Danny, if you see this video, props to you. That was wicked. I'm fairly certain that came from that guy uh, swimming out there. Absolutely loved it. Oh man, this is intense. Going to be an intense final here for the U.S. Now they got some, uh, they got some forces. Looks like that chopper cleared out the other rib, and they are whoa, and the attack boat. Ah, wow. Not looking like there's a lot of hope left for the Chinese. Rolling their way in. I don't see any Chinese on the beach here. There comes the attack boat and a PWC, but that is all too late. It looks like these timers are so short, so short. <laughs> on obliteration. Carito getting another arm. That's going to be some serious points. Guarantee you she'll be in the top five. Those are the last hope for the Chinese. Can they do it? One down. Scum drops the other one. Did he hold him off long enough? It's a yes player. Moving up. 
<laughs> oh, photo finish. That was awesome. Fantastic. Props to that Yesh guy. Couldn't quite catch his name. But props to him for going for it at the last second. That would have been a wicked disarm if he could have pulled it off. Oh, good stuff. Man. Absolutely love it. Now spectator mode has me underwater. <laughs> good good times. Carrito and Scum snagging some points. Third and fourth place finishes right there. Fearmaker grabs a second place finish on the other side. Well done, guys. Whiskey almost made it in. And Eagle almost made it in as well. Oh, Eddie's in as well. Nice. Welcome, Eddie. Long time yes gamer. Good good fun guy to play with. Blue not too far down, man. You might get up there next game. Love it. Music is in. Glad to see you, sir. Haven't gotten a game with you in a while. Glad you could make it and join. So this next game, I believe, is going to amp up the competition a little more. Eddie is a solid player, so the Chinese got a, a serious boost with him into the game. Um, it's just going just gonna to have to see if the U.S. continue their all-out dominating assault. Yeah, whiskey. That might, I don't know if that was you. I'm guessing it was you. So, judging from your comment in the chat, that was to the bomb. Yeah, man, you were right up on it. Oh, that was awesome. I love those those kind of finishes. Just down to the wire. Scum dog holds him off as long as he can. Then he gets killed. And he's watching his death screen. Just like, come on. Ah, oh, good stuff. Get your heart rate going. Once again, server one four one five three five. If you're new to the to the live stream, come hop in. PS4 players, get in, get some points, have some awesome competition. Good stuff. <laughs> Fearmaker, I got bunny hopped. Danny, you did. You're in the chat, and that was you with the straw, dude. That was a wicked shot. I loved it. And Danny, if you got a second, I don't I don't think I saw the yes tags up. Uh, so I've got to hold true to the rules just because it's the only thing that's fair. But um, yeah, there you are. But go uh, hop on Battle Log real quick. Change over the yes tags and uh, get some points, man. Not too late at all. Looks like you, with that straw shot, I can only assume you're a solid player. So uh, you can definitely get some points towards the competition, bro. All right, bomb is out. This map is one of, it's a combo map for me. It is one of the most frustrating and also one of the funnest maps for obliteration. It's so wide open, it's, it can be very, very difficult to grab the bomb. It ends up just this slaughter kill house down here in the middle uh, if both teams get set up well. I mean, you see that there's just deaths going back and forth. Guys grabbing it, other guys spawning in. <laughs> Looks like the Chinese are going to take control now. Scumdog's got it. He's like a bomb magnet. And he's off with the Jeep. Might be an early points for the Chinese side. Might be some early points. I see some Russians moving up in a tank. Will they get there in time? It looks like that's actually an AA gun. Oh, and he's moving on. What a killer move. But that actually puts him out in the open. May have been a brilliant move. May have been a mistake. We'll see shortly. Oh, he goes down. But there's a lot of Russian forces all around there. Only a couple of Chinese. So, uh... I like the effort to pump fake to Alpha, moving over to Bravo. Although, that actually looks like... Yeah, yeah. Close, close, close call. Almost had it there. So, as you can see, it already, already appears that the uh, competition is going to be more intense this go-around. I'm guessing nobody got auto-balanced. We've still got... Yeah, Russians have the same Yesh crew as they had... And uh, the Chinese have the other Yesh crew on their side. So it's going to be gonna be some good games. Russians are off. Oh, hopped out of the vehicle. It must have been... Yeah, it is almost done. Or at least he thought it was almost done because he's on foot. That is going to be a tough one to, to survive. <laughs> Who is that? I love it. I love the hopping. Eagle! <laughs> that was great. That was great. I don't know if you had C4 or you were just trying to fake that guy out, but that was awesome. So Chinese really setting up a heck of a perimeter around this, but the Russians are closing in fast, and nobody's actually picked up the bomb yet. I'm guessing the guy in that uh, vehicle didn't want to pop out for fear of losing the vehicle. But it's kind of anybody's bomb right now. But it looks like after the dust is settling, the Russians may have taken control of the area. Yes, they did. They are now the kings of this little anthill. So, 
where are they going to go with it? That's the question. This guy is running solo, probably screaming on the comms. Somebody please pick me up. It's a random, so who knows, but there's a tank. Is he in it? Oh, no, he's not. I bet there's two people in that tank. Yeah, there you go. Somebody hopped out. Somebody hopped out, but the tank is now leaving. <laughs> I love the tank driver. <laughs> He's back. He's back. But he... <laughs> the poor bomb guy went down. Oh, that was tough. The tank guy was probably thinking he was defending him. Not realizing that he desperately... Uh, the bomb guy desperately needed a ride. That's a tough call, man. You get in the chaos of war. It is really hard to see... Who is doing what and, uh, and, and who's calling out to you. And the comma rose. I bashed it a lot when the game first started. I was like, this is so ridiculous. Why would I ever want this? You know what? I've come to actually really like it. It's easy. It pops up. Um, it's easy to keep an eye on in-game. And it's an easy way to quickly shout out to other guys and other squads, you know, what you need. Yeah, of course, people don't pay attention. And so it doesn't always fix every problem. But it uh, has saved me quite a few times. I'm like, hey, I need ammo or I need a ride or, you know, whatever. It uh, can be very, very helpful. I've, I've gotten to where I like it quite a bit. Now, who we got? We got uh, somebody with the bomb here rolling. Who is that? Whiskey. Whiskey's got the bomb. He's on foot, killing his way through. Somebody's honking the horn. <laughs> They're so close to the bomb now, it doesn't really make sense to hop in there. <laughs> He's back out again. Will he stay alive? No, that tank takes him down. Ouch. Ooh, that's quite the convoy there. Except for that jet doing some work. I don't know who that was. That was solid. They busted the first line of defense. Ouch. Whew. Still quite the convoy. China. Looking like they very possibly are going to get their first points on the board here. Alpha getting... Oh, it's not in there. It's around the corner. Alpha armed for the Chinese. No Russians in sight. And they are going to take a leg up in this competition. Very well done. That was a solid effort. They converged on the bomb. They had a convoy of people all around there. Even when that jet took out the main guy, there was just not enough. Um, not enough Russian forces in the area to hold them back. They rolled right through that. So the Chinese take a lead. But we're almost halfway through the time of the game already. So this is not by any means a steamrolling here. This has been a tough battle back and forth on both sides. Let's see where the bomb is going to pop up. Take a little zoom out. We're going to pop in the scoreboard as well. See who's doing some work. Blue doing some work over there. Love it. Music right behind him. Scum Dog there as well. Carito hot on their heels. Fear Maker, of course, a fantastic player right there at the top. Eagle. Danny is in the chat also. A couple of Yesh guys. This is tough, man. There's a, a serious battle going on. I've heard from more than one person that they, uh, they <laughs> ramp their competitiveness into crazy high gear when they're playing against... Uh, fellow yesh because they know they have to and then this competition just makes it even even worse just is like there's you know they know it's live and there's points on the line and just really really fun so uh you really typically see some really fun moments in good games in these now the chinese are back here again they got another convoy and they're snagging the bomb early now that tank is wounded but he's still moving oh my goodness Eagle of War drops him with a straw, picks up the double kill, and frees up the bomb again. That was nice. It's back in Chinese hands. Question is, what's the play here? He's a long way off from any objectives. Charlie and Bravo are way out there. A lot of Russian soldiers in between them, so he's just looking for a vehicle. Looks like he found a Jeep on his own. Three Jeeps there, so they've got no armor. This could be a tough one to move in. Now, if they roll out here to Charlie, they might get it uncontested. Oh, the parachuter. Is that parachuter going to pull off the miracle kill? No, they're not, but I like the effort. Oh! And Blue picks up the roadkill. Always good times. Roadkilling is, is one of the funnest things. It's right up there with taking tags and, you know, rocketing a, a helicopter, all that. You know, the really fun kills of Battlefield. Now, it looks like we've got one Russian tank. No, two now. Two rolled in. Can he get the arm in time? No, they dropped it. Wow. Russians stepping up and saying, Nuh-uh, not going to steamroll us that easily. 
Not going to steamroll us that easily. Yeah, Eagle! Looks like he picked up the snipe right there. That was nice. Good stuff. Okay, now it's the Russians' turn to say, hey, we can do that too. We got a convoy. Check out our vehicles. Now they got three. Now the question is, are they going to branch off on their own or are they going to hang back and follow the bomb carrier? I'm guessing the bomb carrier is rolling all the way to Charlie because it's most likely going to be the least contested. Most of the convoy is staying with them. It looks like we've got one uh, LAV or ZBD or whatever, AT&T, whatever that vehicle is up there. Now he's coming back. He's following. He's just cutting, uh, cutting through the middle. This is it. This is uh, <laughs> this is an intimidating force. I love it. Look at all these guys. <laughs> Only in flipping Battlefield. That is just great. You can say what you want about the bugs. I know the game has not been perfect by any means. But you still can have just these incredibly cool moments playing this game that you just don't really get in a lot of other first-person shooters. Oh, nice flank there. You give him some A1 sauce with that flank. That tank caught him by surprise, but it wasn't enough to get the disable. Oh, this is so close. He is going to get... No, he didn't! He didn't get it. They dropped him right before. Now, I don't think they're getting through that ZBD, but they held off the bomb arming. Got the arm now. Lots of Russians around there. It looks like they've answered. Oh, yeah, look at that. Oh, my gosh. China's not getting in that one. Very well-coordinated effort by the Russians. Man, there was you just saw that convoy rolling down the road, and you were like, yep, not, not touching that. Good luck, guys. I'm going to go reload. <laughs> that was really, really great effort by the Russians. Answering the Chinese, we've now passed the halfway mark on time, and one objective down on each side. Very, very good competition. Now, it's curious to see where it's going to go from here because the Chinese have already set up shop over here. Now, they are got a lot of ground forces ready to snag this next bomb as it pops up, but I'm not seeing any vehicle support. And on Goldman Railway, vehicle support is huge. I see one Jeep down there, so they might be able to snag the bomb and just use speed as their ally. Looks like they got two Jeeps now. But, uh,. Russians clearly have the armor advantage. The question is, are they going to get up here in time to use that advantage? The bomb pops up quick. There it is. There it is. We got a Jeep ready. Now, he's got C4 on that Jeep. Looks like they were going to jihad it. That could be their downfall. Oh, all it takes is one little explosion. Nope. He's out of there. <laughs> oh, man, that was close. Oh, they took out his vehicle, but he's got another Jeep ready to go. Oh, that other Jeep backed up too far. And now the ZBD hot on their heels. Wow, looks like the Russian armor caught up and is uh, going to put a stop to that assault. They got close. The old hurry-up offense there almost worked for the Chinese. Just a couple more seconds, and they would have been all the way at that bomb site and, uh, and making it happen. But now the Russians got it. They're not too far away from Alpha. Doesn't look like any Chinese in the area. A couple pairs shooting in, but again, armor advantage to the Russians right now. Now, are these Chinese players going to ninja their way in here and hide out? Oh, he dropped some C4, and he got it! Fantastic! C4 by that random. I don't know who that is. I don't think he's in the stream, but that was nicely done. There's the Jeep. There it is. Back for the speed assault. Scumdog is in the Jeep going, bro, what are you doing? I've got a Jeep right here. That is the, that is the one uh, one downfall we run into when uh, a random blueberry gets the bomb. <laughs> he's in the building now. Or behind the building now. There he goes. Now he sees the Jeep. Oh, he went down. We got, a, we got somebody over here. Fear Maker with the ACWR. Oh, I love it. Corito makes a fantastic sacrifice. I don't know if you caught that or not. She hopped out and just stood there absorbing rounds to give Scumdog a chance to get away with the bomb. And now with Speed as their ally, they've gotten away from those tanks and they are at Bravo uncontested. No armor to defend them, but time is on their time is on their side. The Frogfoot literally kills everyone, but they get it armed. Will the Russians get there in time or do the Chinese take no i'm sorry the russians uh, oh, oh there it 
does. And the Russians all die. Yes, the Chinese do take the lead. Oh, that was fantastic. A incredible effort there by Scumdog. Carido taking the hit to allow them a chance to escape. It's those minor little things like that that don't seem like a big deal and a lot of people miss in the regular gameplay. But something as simple as just hopping out and absorbing some bullets, being that half-second distraction, allowing your teammates to get away with the bomb. It's clutch plays right there. If Carito doesn't do that, there's a very good chance Fear Maker kills the driver of that Jeep and that it's stopped on their tracks. That whole entire thing does not happen. Because she did that, Scum was able to finish it out. They got the bomb armed and then literally about one second away from it getting disarmed, it, uh, it went off there. That was awesome. So China now takes the lead. Russians are in crunch crunch time now. They cannot let the Chinese keep, uh, keep the momentum, but unfortunately it looks like the Chinese are still rolling. Now this guy's taking hits. He is now disabled. Yeah, he's not getting away. I like the effort, but not getting away from there. Anybody's game again at this point. Still five minutes, not a ton of time, but plenty of time for the Russians to arm the Chinese objective and at least tie it up. If they do some real quick work, they could even win this thing. But they're going to have to be on it very, very quickly. Speed is their ally at this point. Now they got their, their convoy attack here again. I love that. <laughs> just that Jeep at the bottom, just ram in the back of that AA and turn it around. Hilarious. Hey, guys. Probably not real thrilled right now. now. He's on foot. There he goes. Into the vehicle. And now they're off. What objective? Most likely... Oh, I'm an idiot. They. Uh... No, no, I'm not an idiot. I Well, I am, but I was confused for a second. <laughs> they're going to Bravo. I thought for a second they only had one objective left. But yeah, most likely going to Bravo. I think that's the smart play at this point. What happened there? Did he, uh, yeah, he hopped out. That may have been an accidental. Not sure what happened. I missed it for a second. I was reading the chat. Got a little confused. Wow, Chinese hopping in and uh, stopping the Russians from tying this thing up. At least delaying them for a second. Now, there is a Jeep over there. Hilarious that I just heard that, that soldier yell out, I'm hurt. No big armor over here yet. This is an infantry war right now. Oh, wow. That was awesome. Rush in. He's by himself now. That guy's not getting out of there. Oh, that was so close. Russians really made a nice effort there to tie this game up here down to the wire. Now, the bomb is still close. If they get over there quick, this tank, this tank could do some work. Because I don't see any Chinese armor in the area to answer him. No, he goes down by the javelin. Wow. Scum dog. Nice. Probably saved the Chinese from potentially having a, a big problem on their hands there. Now we're down to just above the three minute mark. Time is quickly ticking away for the Russians. Now not a bad strategy here is the Chinese literally just getting the bomb out of there. Just the more, the farther away you get it, you know, that's that much longer that the Russians have to bring it back to get the score. And time is, is really on the side of the Chinese here with the lead. So he's working his way towards Charlie, but more than anything, he's just getting the bomb away from the Russians uh, having a chance to arm it. There's a little jeep battle going on. That looks like a trailer. <laughs> That's like a battlefield trailer. Get a little closer look here. <laughs> That's pretty great. I love it. Even if you're losing right now, that's just a fun moment. Now, oh! Didn't quite get it armed. That was wicked. Uh, I can't tell if they ran over them or, or ended up just shooting them. All right, Russians, you got just under two and a half minutes. Time to make a play. Time to make a play and make it fast if they want to tie this thing up. Uh, looks like Fear Maker's in the chat saying he jumped out on accident. Ah, it happens to me, dude. I can't tell you how many times I've been reloading and accidentally held square down too long and actually exited my vehicle. It's, it's, it's just unfortunate. I love this. Love this battle. Oh, but they hit a wall accidentally. Hop out, now they're on foot, winding it in. Time is running out for the Russians. They gotta get in there quick. Oh, they go down. Who was it? Scumdog. Music. Music got the kill, but then Fearmaker killed him. And they're back running again. Fearmaker on the run. <laughs> Oh, good stuff. Is that scum? Yeah, it is. 
Back again, grabbing the bomb, just getting it away from that area. Whew, that's a lot of soldiers. A minute and a half. Not looking good for the Russians tying this thing up. Now he's in a jeep. Oh! They escaped the heavy armor. Just burning the clock. Just burning the clock. Somebody picks up the kill. <laughs> They're back again. That is just awesome. I love it. So much chaos going on right now. Under a minute. Still hope for the Russians, but they got to make it happen right now. No time to waste. Oh! Chinese aren't giving it up easy. Probably a that's what she said joke somewhere in there. But this is a family production. I love this. Just getting into the buildings. Just just, just wasting time. Just get as far away as they can. Uh, I'm starting to think that's it. This is looking like this is a Chinese victory here. Yep. Not enough time for the Russians to grab it and get back and arm something. Love it. Well done. Both teams, seriously awesome gameplay here. That was phenomenal. Who is this? Who is this running away? Random. That was great. Very well done on everybody. I'm excited. I could look now, but I'm going to wait. I'm excited to see who our top scorers are. What a game. What a game. Oh my gosh. Good stuff. Man, very back and forth. The Russians were so close to tying it up there at the end. That was killer. Good times. Oh, what a what a pretty picture of the sky. Oh man, let's see it. Who was it? Who scored? I'm so nervous. There it is. Fear Maker Eagle doing some work. Oh, Whiskey, so close to getting in the top five. Whiskey and Eddie were right there. They were doing some work. I saw the names popping up a lot, but not quite. Other side, there is a lot of yesh over here. Getting some points. Blue with that first place. Music Scum and Carito right behind. Fantastic. Look at that close score. Oh, looks like somebody, looks like Music had to bounce out, but he got some points there. That was nice. Nicely done, sir. Good times indeed. We're going into the third and final game of round three. <laughs> Fear Maker. Hilarious in the chat. I'm going to count that as a tie. <laughs> I like it. It was such an awesome game. I'll give you that one. That was that was a a moral tie. Technically, it was it was not, but but I liked it. That was great. Oh my goodness! I forgot Locker was next in the rotation. This is going to be straight up silliness. I'm going to apologize in advance for the camera angles. You get in some of these tight corridors. It can be kind of tough to be in the third person. Uh, following these people around with the bomb and stuff but we're gonna do our darndest that's for sure all right i think the bomb kicks in somewhere in here around the charlie area starting to, whoa <laughs> whoa where am i at it's either in here or it's outside starting out let us see well, while we're waiting for the bomb to kick up let's go and check team see who's where Looks like the U.S. are back with the Corito Scum Dog crew and uh, Whiskey and Eddie and the others are on the other side. going to be very interesting to see how this turns out. The bomb is down here. We're going to shimmy our way down there. There's a guy right by the bomb. I'm not completely sure what he's doing, but he just allowed that <laughs> Russian to grab it and go. That is the ultimate flaw with hanging back and trying to just get kills by guarding the bomb. It wasn't a Yesh guy, it was a, it was a Blueberry. But he was just trying to guard it. Or else maybe he was just a noob and just really confused me what he was doing. But either way, Russians now have it. Here I go circling, trying to <laughs> follow my way up here. There we go, go outside. I can get a better angle out here. <laughs> Never, ever an easy... Oh, Whiskey goes down trying to defend. Never an easy path out here or anywhere on this map. Trying to get the bomb. This, this is a map that so often ends with time just running out. Because you just get gridlocked here with just forces just, just blazing away at each other. But people keep spawning in so fast. It's just insanely hard to uh, eagle right there. Let's see if I can find him. 
Eagle, where are you at? I'm going to pop in and check your first person perspective before you die. There it is. Holding it down. I like this. Oh, and he goes down. Almost. Now, who grabbed the bomb? Back over here. Is that a random? Looks like it's a random. Fear Maker's with him. He's dropping that Terminator line. Come with me if you want to live. Yeah, it looks like this guy's actually following. Props to the random blueberry for following his teammates. Not just hiding. I hate... There's nothing worse than playing Obliteration or Rush or something like that. And somebody grabbing the bomb and then just, like, hiding. Like, they just tuck themselves away. They're like, I don't know what to do and I'm scared. That is the worst. Corito doing some work. Holding them up for a second. Blue comes in and cleans up the rest. And the U.S. are back in control. Oh, this is just the chaos of Operation Meat Locker. What do we got going on there? Sounded like a little uh, launcher action. Bombs out. Who's going to grab it? Free bomb. Whoever wants it. Did somebody forget it was here? Now we got that random random blueberry afraid to grab it. And because he was so afraid to grab it, it reset. Oh, that's that's unfortunate. <laughs> I mean, it, there are definitely tactics involved. You don't always just rush out in the open and just get yourself killed. But, that being said, at some point you just got to to sack up and get out there. And go grab the bomb and just see what happens. If nothing else, to reset the clock. Because that was a Russian player that could have grabbed it. And he did not. And now the uh, U.S. are back in control. Scumdog hot on their heels. Looks like we got some guys PTFOing. So it's not just the yes people we got. Oh, he blocked me! Scum, you just blocked me. That was wicked. Shutting that off to protect the bomb guy. But it blocked me. <laughs> I gotta shimmy my way over here to find the bomb carrier. That was awesome. I, I like to think that you did that on purpose. I'm just gonna pretend that you did because that makes it that much greater. All right, we're almost five minutes in. 25% of this game is over. And nobody's even come close to arming an objective yet. Which is just par for the course on this map. Fearmaker's got it. He's booking it fast, hoping somebody's guarding his rear. Nice kill there. Oh, but he was so close to death. And they finished it up. Back in U.S. hands. Now, the, the question is, what team is going to get the largest force mounted too easy to make a joke about that and uh oh no my my uh battery's running low i think i got enough to push it up who's gonna get the largest force together and choose the best route that is the question oh nice flank there whiskey they haven't even noticed it oh he almost ninja his way in to get it but you know what it looks like the Russians have a decent force pull pulling in. Ooh, that is tough. I like that play by Scum there. Just get it out of that zone. It's too close to the the, uh, the Russians taking over. So he just hops in, grabs the bomb, and takes the quickest way that he can see there to be uh, a little bit of a freedom. And he's off, and he's got a little uh, little speed advantage here going. I like this. I'm going to quickly... Oh, I couldn't switch to his name in time. I was wanting to watch him carry the bomb. It can be tough to get to the first-person perspective before they die, especially on this map, just because it's so much of the spawn-die, spawn-die chaos going on. Ooh, you ain't getting through there, homie. Now where is he going? Is he hiding out, or is he making a move somewhere? He's going downstairs. As I slowly finagle this controller down. Oh, that's a... Not going to be a happy place to go through either. Total bottleneck here of soldiers. One solid grenade or three GL burst is dropping all those guys. But you know what? They powered their way in. Powered their way in. And if you look up ahead, there's not a whole lot of uh, U.S. soldiers in their way. If they keep pushing forward, they might be able to make some solid headway here. Scumdog picks up the kill, resets the clock, and it uh, looks like Carito maybe is alive still? No, she went down. Bomb is just resting now. 
It is just resting. Good stuff. Alex in the chat, I'm guessing you are music. Thanks for joining, bro. Had a great round. Have a good rest of the day, sir. Okay, bomb sat there for a long time. Really surprised by that. U.S. comes in and snags it, and there is no Russians anywhere over here. Oh, there they are. Whiskey is getting clever, sneaking around for the flank. The Corito found him. Oh, but the door got shut on him. I love it. I love it. And whoever had the bomb and was hiding there probably didn't realize they could shoot through those bars. And they were completely lit up by this light. <laughs> Brilliant play shutting the door there. A lot of players do not do that. Regardless of game mode, conquest or whatever, it really is huge to shut that door because you hold them out for that long. And whatever Russian player that was that came over and opened that door, Boy Racer, whoever that is, that was money because you just saved your team from having to take the bomb upstairs to much more certain death. They're able to get this much farther through the map. Really, really nice plays. Now the bomb is down. I don't know if I agree with going into the middle of the map here. Typically, the farther to the outskirts you are, the safer you are. Going into the middle there is kind of a kill zone. Looks like an LVG sh uh, grenade got blasted there. Oh, he tried to make a, a run through, but he got taken down. Now they're just guarding the bomb at this point. There they go. They, now they've got it. Looks like that's Whiskey snagging the bomb, making another run. Now, I'm guessing we had some squad wipes in here because nobody was spawning over here. It looks like all the U.S. soldiers are way back in their base. So they're gonna, the Russians are going to be able to make a lot of headway here. Getting back up there. Oh, this is brutal. The bottlenecks are brutal. One of my favorite strategies for this map is... Uh, oh, Alex is actually fluffy. I got you. Sorry, bro. I, I forgot that that was your uh, your YouTube name on here. Good stuff. Yeah, man. Have a good afternoon. Go rock some guys. Thanks for joining. Like I was saying, which this guy, I guess he read my thoughts. One of my favorite ways to take the bomb on this map is outdoors because grenades aren't as much of a threat because you're not stuck in these tiny corridors where every explosion hits all around you. And if you can get some of your teammates to come up, lock it down before you get here. Now, they don't have that right now, so it's going to be a tough battle. But if you get a few teammates, like when there's nothing really happening out here, to set up with some LMGs and, uh, you know, some grenades. Uh, you know, they, maybe they get some minis, so they got a lot of grenades, maybe even some smoke, that sort of thing. If they lock this area down, it's a really nice strategy because then your team grabs the bomb, heads out here, and before the other team knows what hit them, you, you've pretty much got a straight shot all the way down to whatever objective you want to go to. Now, we're gridlocked at this point because nobody had it, had it locked yet. And whoever's got the bomb right now is looking like they might still be trying to make an outside effort here. That's a lot of Russians. I don't see it happening. That is a whole lot of Russians. Also, if you want some easy mode kills, especially on Conquest where there's always people just hanging out up here with sniper rifles and stuff, set up back in your base with a mortar and just drop them. Just drop mortars in this area. It is just, it's such easy mode when it's not even, like you feel stupid doing it because it's like, I'm, this takes no skill. <laughs> this is just ridiculous. But you can get a lot of kills. You, and it is actually a nice way to clear out this area. You know, if one of the, uh, either side, if somebody grabs a mortar, sets it up a little farther back, they can just start pelting all these guys back here who think they're safe behind cover and really give their team uh, kind of a clear path to move up. One of my favorite things to do. Still anybody's bomb at this point. We're down under 10 minutes over the halfway mark. Still nobody has gotten close to arming an objective. This may be a game that ends at a 0-0. I hope not. Now they've already... They, it looks like they've for sure taken it indoors and they're rerouting. I thought they might come back out, but they are not. Ah! OP! These doors... Now the question is, oh, where are we going? We're trying to go back outside? I thought we just left outside. I'm not sure if he knows what he's doing. <laughs> he turned back around. Now he's down. Fearmaker's got it. He's a man with a plan. 
And he's not afraid. They're, oh my gosh. If they could see what I see. Wow, there are no U.S. soldiers anywhere in their path right now. They're all outdoors or dead. If they just took the bomb and took off running, they could get pretty far down there. But, as always, you know, Spectator gets to see what other people don't. So, now this is an interesting play. I don't believe that guy knew what he was doing because he took the bomb farther into his own enemy territory. Oh, is he going to see him in time? No, he didn't! Fearmaker got taken down. If you'd seen him in time, well, that's a lot of forces to push through there. That was going to be tough. They had a window, though. You could see that. They had a window of opportunity where they just needed to push that through. Again, you never know. You never know. Is there 40 soldiers around this corner? Or, uh, you know, is it clear all the way down? All right. Carrito's got it. Decent force rallied together here. Looks like they're also down below. Gosh, it's going to be tough. Under seven minutes now. Who's going to do it? At this point of the game, it's pretty clear. If anybody can take out one objective, they are going to have the win. But this very well may be a slaughter fest down to the last second, and we end at 0-0. Zero, zero. A fear maker is already in there, and he's saying, Bro, run! This is what kills you when the guy is hiding with the bomb. Bro, <laughs> don't hide with it. If you die, someone else will pick it up. And then you give them more of a chance to mount... Uh, a defense just like that and take him down and, and fear maker and all of his buddies were too far up ahead trying to clear the way and that's not their fault they, they did the right thing I would have been up there with them uh, I, I fault the bomb carrier there for not following them as quickly he was hiding for too long and it gave the uh, the US way too much time to get a defense going nice kill there by blue oh it picks up a double very well done who is going to snag it? I got another free bomb up here. Craigslist. Who wants my bomb? For sale. Free or best offer. <laughs> okay, there we go. Who was that? Scumdog said, I'll take that. Oh, didn't quite get out of the, the kill box here. It's a decent amount of Russians up there in the window just dropping some fire. But the problem with that, I like that strategy for a while, but eventually they make it through, and then you're too far away to help. If they had had more forces here and made their way through, whoever is down on those steps probably just saved them. That could have very well been the game because they were, they were pushing through three or four guys, and it looks like they surprised them and held them off. Whiskey's got the bomb. Looks like somebody's dropped a flare, and he's rolling around to go outside. Oh, nice turnaround. Nice turnaround there by the bomb carrier. Typically, you want to keep as much speed going forward as possible, but there are moments like that when you know you're being chased, you're about to hit a long corridor, and you're going to be getting shot. you got to spin around, catch them off guard, drop that kill, and then get moving. Now, the Russians are making a very serious push here. Got a lot of soldiers. Not a lot of U.S. have managed to spawn back in yet. You can see them parachuting in there. They're trying to get up and going. Now there's four or five now. Can they push through that? Let's take a little wider look. Now there's a handful of Russians, though. Oh, there they come. Oh, that was such a short window of opportunity. Still possible. Under four minutes now. Bomb up there on the top. Who's going to do it? Oh, and the U.S. has it again. Has it again. Nice defense there. That was looking like the Russians might have made it happen and gotten the win. That's Blue with the bomb, surrounded by the other Yesh members. Carrito Scumdog. Roving in packs. Love the revives right there. Keeping your forces strong, so critical on this map. I know there's other equipment that can be helpful. Uh, you definitely need more, but Assault is such an awesome class for this map. It's uh, just got to have a lot of Assault players. And it looks like there's only a couple of them in there. If the, U if the U.S. forces push in fast, 
Ah, there come more Russians now. There they are. There they are on forces. Again, you, you see here all through this map, there's only a few short, short seconds that there's a window of opportunity between when people are spawning in that you can uh, get the bomb past the front lines and all the way over. Now, it looks like they're going to try going straight through the top right above those soldiers. Not a bad idea. Time's running short. Two and a half minutes. Got to push in. Bomb carrier is a little timid, but it's not the worst idea ever to let his soldiers go forward first. Now, if he lags too far behind, somebody's going to sneak up and flank him. So you have to keep moving quick. This is a serious push. This might be the U.S. taking the win of this game. I don't see a lot of uh, Russians holding them down. And that U.S. player with the bomb really needs to just be removing as fast as they can. He's stopping to shoot, which I think is the wrong call there. You let your teammates shoot. You got a lot of randoms with you. Now he's going. Now he's going. If he gets disarmed, it could be it. He got it. Oh, he got it. This could be the U.S. winning the game. Minute 45 left. Fantastic. Defense by Scumdog there. And that is it. They hold him out. Oh, my gosh. Down to the wire. What an incredible game. And I, I cannot imagine. I think that's it. U.S. pulls off an incredible last-minute win. Really, really well done um, with the convoy of soldiers there. Just, just muscling their way through. That was fantastic. Let's go ahead and switch back to an outdoor camera here. There's one. Whoop, where am I at? There's one more bomb that's going to pop up. Yeah, you see everybody out there. Oh, no, don't kill me in spectator mode. My KD. Help. That's it. 54, 54 seconds. In theory, if there was a Russian on the bomb right now who grabbed it and just ran, he could have gotten there and armed it in time, in theory. But uh, there's not. Nobody there. U.S. grabs it again. The Russians, it looks like, had probably all spawned back there, understandably, because they were trying to get that last second defense in uh, to stop that bomb plant. And once it went down, all of them were back there, so they, they could not spawn anywhere else. And, uh, yeah, that's going to be game. 20 seconds left. The end. Wham, bam. Love it. Karita, where you at? Let me follow you with the bomb here. Got the bomb. Doing some work. Oh, didn't mean to do that. Time ticks away. Oh my gosh, what an awesome game. Mega props to both sides. I'm really curious to see who got the top scores after that game. Because without a lot of uh, objectives being armed, um, that, that was just up for grabs by anybody. But oh, that is tough. Those, those kind of games wear you out. That's where you got to take a break and be like... I need to uh, I need to go like chill out for a while, get some water, you know, rest. <laughs> it's just so stressful. Unbelievable games there. Look at those points. Blue and Carido snagging them on the U.S. side. Scumdog just shy of getting in the top. Fearmaker, Whiskey, Eddie, Danny, nailing the points there. Gotta love that. Eagle so close. A few points away from getting the top five. Great effort, though. Uh, really, really phenomenally well done, guys. That was awesome. Squirrel. Oh, buddy, sorry. You're just a hair too late. This is the last game of the live stream. And that is actually it. Bowing out. Fantastic game to everybody. That was just awesome. You guys rocked it. Um, that Man, really, really tough game. That just, at the last final second... One team took advantage of that really small window of opportunity that we were talking about and managed to power their way through uh, to get the last uh, objective, or the first objective done. That was really awesome. But everybody that played tonight, really, really great job. You guys rocked it. Really awesome games to watch. I will tally the new scores. Again, I will show the scores leading into this game. But uh, the current rankings popping up on the screen do not include what you just saw uh, in this round three. These were the rankings going into round three. I will retally these up, probably throw them out on Twitter and Facebook uh, for anybody interested throughout this next week. And then uh, at the beginning of the live stream next week, we'll post them up again. We will see who now has taken over the lead and uh, 
We'll have round four next weekend. Awesome stuff. I will post times uh, on Twitter and Facebook, uh, the Ish Gaming pages. Uh, sometime this week, as soon as I know a time next weekend that I'm for sure free and I can do it, uh, we'll make it happen. And uh, we'll get the time set. You can mark on your calendar, and as many people as can get in here as they can, we'll get some more awesome games going. So thanks a ton to all of you um, who joined the live stream, participating, all of you watching on YouTube later on. I, I really appreciate the support. Didn't even have any community questions this week. The action was so intense, so much to talk about. We didn't even have time to, to take a break and do that. But it was a lot of fun. Had an absolute blast. Thanks again for joining, guys. We'll be back in a week with round four. Plenty of rounds left. If you're late to this competition, all it takes is one or two weeks of good scores, and you can be right up there vying for first place. So be looking for a video coming out soon, also talking about the prize lists. And I will talk to you guys uh, here in my next video shortly. Y'all have a great rest of the weekend. Peace.